before you service your compressor. Don't forget to observe safe working practices and follow all local work safety requirements and regulations. That also means wearing the necessary personal protective equipment. First, make sure you have everything in place for the service intervention. Open the service kit and check the content. Turn the main switch to the on position. Then start the unit and let it run until it gets warm. This takes between 5 and 10 minutes. When the machine is warm, turn the compressor off again. Lock the main switch. Make sure the switch is in the off position. Then press the button to release the latch and put a lock into it. Draining the compressor oil is the next step. First, open the yellow hood of the unit. Then unfasten and open the second part of the canopy, the gray hood. Unscrew the oil filler plug on the side of the vessel with a single turn. Place an oil pan under the unit, directly below the drain point. At the underside of the machine, remove the frame plug so that next you can remove the drain plug. Drain the oil and collect it in the oil pan. Completely unscrew the filler plug on the side of the vessel to speed up the draining procedure. While draining the oil, you can replace the air filter. Put on clean gloves before doing so. Open the air filter housing and remove the air filter. Clean the housing and then place a new air filter into the housing. Make sure to compare it to the old one. Make sure the dust trap is pointing down and then carefully close the housing. Next, replace the oil filter. First, take out the used oil filter with an oil filter removal tool. Put it in a bucket or another receptacle. Lubricate the gasket of the new filter element with oil. You can also use Vaseline. Clean the filler seat on the manifold. Take care that no dirt drops into the machine. Screw the oil filter into place until the gasket fits into its seat. Tighten it one half turn only. Next. Replace the oil separator element. Mark down the position of the top cover for future reference. Then remove the bolts from the vessel cover and carefully take off the cover. Remove the oil separator element, the retainers and the O-ring. Inspect the proper working of the oil level indicator. Check if the float and the color indicator are moving in sync. By now, the oil should be drained. Clean the drain plug, replace the gasket, and clean the drain hole on the vessel. Reposition both plugs and tighten them. Pour fresh oil down the top of the vessel until the level reaches the thread of the filler neck and the level indicator is in the green zone. This takes approximately 25 liters. Put on clean gloves before you proceed with installing the new oil separator element. Clean the O-ring groove and apply some fresh Vaseline to that groove. Take the new O-ring and also apply Vaseline to it. Then carefully position the new O-ring on the groove. Clean the surface. Place a new retainer on the bottom of the vessel. Clean the cover of the vessel and place the second new retainer on the top. Finally, put the new oil separator element into place. Make sure to compare it to the one that was removed. Use the markers you made earlier to ensure you put it in the correct position.
Reinstall the cover carefully and tighten the bolts. Clean the filler plug and the opening of the filler neck. Replace the gasket. Reinstall and tighten the oil filler plug. Finish by doing a visual inspection of the combi cooler. Clean it if needed. Also, make sure that all other vital parts of the unit are clean and that replaced parts are disposed of properly. Then close the gray hood. Time for a test run. Remove the lock from the main switch. Start the unit. If you're unsure how to do this, watch our video with the start instructions. Run the unit unloaded for a few minutes to circulate the oil and to evacuate the air trapped in the oil system. Check the unit for leaks, for abnormal noise, and for alarms. Stop the unit. Again, watch our video with the stop instructions if you need help. Let the oil settle for a few minutes, then check the oil level in the vessel. If the oil level is too low, unscrew the filler plug and add fresh oil to the vessel through the filler neck. Verify the oil level via the float. It needs to be in the green zone. Reinstall and tighten the filler plug. That's it! Your unit is serviced and good to go.